Sean Keller, and I'm selling this year car. So it's a 2000 Honda CRV. My daughter's had it for many years, and um, well, I guess we just don't need it anymore. We got some other cars, and um, it's in good shape. It's got 302,000 miles on it. I've done a fair amount of work on it over the years. Uh, I put a head gasket in it um, and a valve, actually a valve job at that point, head gasket with valve job. It's had a replacement radiator, it's had a replacement AC compressor just recently, uh, an alternator, a power steering pump, a starter, and a distributor, and the battery isn't too old, it's in good shape, um, tune-up isn't too old, um, running great. Um, we have one little problem with it where it chugs when you're doing about 30 or 40 miles an hour in D4 or uh, drive basically and then if you push the overdrive button it comes out of overdrive and then it's nice and smooth and then as soon as you get back up to 50 or 60 you hit the button again and it's nice and smooth. I've been changing the transmission fluid every 15,000 miles it's absolutely beautifully clean looking. Um, I think what we have is a little issue with a sticking solenoid in the transmission. It's been doing it for 70,000 miles. I'm not worried about it failing. Um, let's see, what else? No problems with any leaking CV boots or anything like that. Uh, brakes are in good shape. I can't remember exactly how old they are. I'd have to take another look at them. Uh, tires are Michelin Defenders, and they're in uh, reasonable shape. I think they're somewhere around half point. Uh, exhaust system is all Honda, um, except for the A-pipe, I believe, and um, that isn't too terribly old. It's not rotted it out. It's in good shape. Um, trying to think of a typical thing. I guess that's about it. Everything's working. There's a uh, aftermarket radio that we put in. It is a... It's a Kenwood. There you go. Oh, the uh, clock does not work. The, um, let's see, the mirrors work, the windows work. And basically everything works, including the AC. The AC is great. Very, very good. Um, the interior is quite unworn given 300,000 miles. It's just very, very nice shape. A quick vacuuming, this thing would look great. Um, power door locks, I don't know, interior lights. I mean, things, it, it really is quite a clean, exceptional car for 300,000 miles. Tailgate. There we go. It even has still the factory picnic table. Or card table. Trailer hitch. Zoom in there. It's the uh, big size trailer hitch. Um, we have only used it for a bike rack. It has never pulled it. I can't remember this car ever having pulled a trailer since we've owned it. Anything we should know about the body or the undercarriage? Uh, yes, we should talk about over the rear wheel. On, the, on both sides, we have some rust starting. Now, I applied some um, a, a rust preventative to it to slow it down, but there's definitely some rust going on there. And what happened here? The name of the game. That was a um, little accident Curie had had, my daughter had had, and um, I just simply cleaned it all up and painted it so it wouldn't rust. 
it uh, there's no ill effect of it um, also there's a couple of dents in the doors there and I didn't even paint those those just got caved in and that happened like oh three or four years ago it's not rusting to speak of so I just leave it and, it doesn't uh, affect the uh, door opening yeah, or anything oh, no. All the windows work, all that. I always um, I don't know what else to say. Should we put it up on the lift and look underneath there? Does that not make sense? Uh, we can. That is possible. Sure.